Hey guys, it is me, Lysimer, and welcome back to the Walking Dead LP. So in the last part, we snuck into Crawford, and now we are still in Crawford. Ooh. Alrighty, so here's Lee. We just left the nurse's office after watching that first video, and we're going to head over here uh, to that bloody locker and try to open it. Can't open it without the combination. Right, right, right. go back into the nurse's office you find that doctor's body did you search him not yet well what are you waiting for all right that's what we had to do we had to go search that search that doctor's body for another tape or whatever's on him kind of just gave a spoiler sorry about that um so yeah <laughs> uh since i accidentally spoiled it I might as well just tell you guys, the doctor has a another tape on him, so we're just going to have to wait and see what that's all about. So we're going to go back to the alleyway. Loading. Can't walk straight. <laughs> oops, oops. Right, let's get on up. Oh, oh crap! That scared me. Ooh, okay. That scared me. I didn't realize I had to jump to my keyboard. Terrifying stuff like that. That's why I love this game. You know, you just got stuff like that popping out at you. It looks like, ooh, hoo hoo. That body is, well, that zombie, not that body. That walker is still going, so I guess we're gonna stomp him out. Poor thing. And now we're going to go ahead and search his little body. And there is a tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Uh-oh. Shit. Time to go. <laughs> I love Lee. I love Lee so much. Alright. I think that is the code to the uh locker over here. Logan. This must have been his locker. Another tape. Safe combination has gotta be on one of these. All right, so now we have two tapes to watch. Let's go ahead and enter the nurse's office and watch them. My question is, how does that camera still have running batteries? <laughs> I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. No. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my goodness. 
I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Mm hmm. Crystal. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll I'm head back that. to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I'm watching it, guys. You guys are being way too impatient for me right now. Being real impatient. Alright, let's go. Go watch it. Oh my Listen, God. as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's <sighs> really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh my gosh, she was doing dirty stuff with him to get medicine for her sister, which is completely understandable. You know, I was put in that oh, situation. Shit. I mean, I don't know if I would do stuff with him, but imagine your sister, like, having the risk of dying or getting kicked out of Crawford, and that was her only way of getting medication. You know, that's really sad. And he's disgusting. Ugh, ooh. Alright. Let's um go back over here and see what's going on with the rest of the crew. Ooh, look at him like walk like that. <laughs> it's cool. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. I don't think you it's a big deal. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. Oh. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Huh. 
Um, what was that? Oh, Jeez. oh Jeff. my gosh. There. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Ben? Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Ben? Oh, no. Ben? Shit! Oh my gosh, Ben! I swear! Lee! Shoot this fucker! Ooh, Hank, I didn't even touch it. That's cool. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh, thanks. Oh! Look at her! I was gonna say, I did not just shoot anybody. Oh my god. What the fuck god. is going on? I love They're her. Coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! I love Clementine. She's such a badass. Oh my god. This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben. We don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh my gosh. Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Oh, nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. <laughs> That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What wow. about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> um. Oh my! Hey. Now can we go? Damn right, Vernon! Come on! Come on, Vernon! Come on! Everybody! Ah, oh, sucks. The bridge is. Well, she was a broad to us at first, so. So much for the armory. What's left of it? All right, we got to get out of here. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. As long as Clem's okay. Fuck! <sighs> it's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! All right, we have got... Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I hate this. I hate this. Oh my gosh. Come on, Lee, come on, Lee. <laughs> I hate scenes like that where I have to do two things at once because I, I just can't. All right, we're slaying them. Let's do it. We gotta get back to our girl. That was a big one. Woo! We are not playing Come today. On. <laughs> it's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hold on, Ben! I've got you! Even though I sometimes hate you. Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to no. go! No! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! No! Lee! I'm not doing that. Ben! Lee, we both know. Ben! Let me go! No! Let's get out of here. Why? Go, go, go! I'm not just gonna let anybody die, you know? Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey. Back already? <laughs> We got you medicine. Oh. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I, guess I don't so. feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? 
I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. Um... What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Um, take her back no. With me to my people. We're well supplied. You know, I'm gonna stop him right there, real quick. This old man is asking to take a little girl from a. I don't know. No, you. Uh -uh. Well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen. We got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Be safe. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. <sighs> if no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Get out of here. Get out of here, Vernon. How oh, lovely. It's the truth. Anyone who messes with Clementine, like if anybody even tries to take her away from me, I will physically, personally, physically, if that makes any sense, hurt them. I can't even believe he just asked that. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Aww. This is kind of sad. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Well... All right. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? <laughs> Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> oh, so I just want to comfort her. Oh, my baby. My babies. My boo boo. <laughs> oh. 
Clementine. Clementine? Not again. Clem? Where is she? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, oh. God. That's my girl's hat. There's a walkie talkie. A little blood on it. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. So. Oh. No. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee. Lee. You out here? Lee. This part makes me want to cry. This part makes me want to cry. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh, oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. <sighs> Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. <laughs> Just lead the way. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Kotch and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. I'm Just sorry, don't ben. fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? <sighs> oh my 
gosh. This is, like, these are the parts of this game that really do get me emotional because just... Oh, sucks, man. This sucks. That little skis. Where the hell are they? They all left. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. This is so sad, you guys. I love, I love Lee. <laughs> this really does suck. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Vernon, put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. So you can only imagine me in the next one. I'm telling you, the end of the next episode, I'm gonna be weeping like a baby, and you guys are all gonna laugh at me. <sighs> okay. No matter how many times I play this game, I get emotionally connected to Lee and Clementine. I I love Lee. The first time I played the game, I loved Lee. I still love him so much. He's an amazing character. I think Lee and Clementine are my favorite characters from any game I've ever played before because I feel like their emotional bond is so real and just so good. The way, you know, the producers and everything of this game, the way they made it, it is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I just, I'm telling you, I'm gonna weep. Alright, so let's read everything. Me and 74% of the players did kill the boy in the attic. Uh, me and 66 of the players were, um, we threatened Vernon. Oh, we were rational and honest. Okay. And me and 73 of the players, um, brought Clementine with us to Crawford. Me and 66 of the players pulled Ben up. And me and 80% of the players showed our bite to the group. So, uh. Yeah. Who came with you? Um, a lot of people only brought, a majority of the people, like the highest number, only brought him and Kenny, which is what we should have done now that I think about it. But 13% brought Omid, Cressida, and Kenny. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Uh, this part was pretty emotional. I, I could have cried easily. So, I will see you guys in episode 5, where we, we're gonna get a little crazy. Things are gonna go, go a little hectic, and, um, I promise you, get your tissues ready. Do not spoil it, you guys. Please don't spoil it. This game is too awesome, and, um, get your tissues ready, you guys. I will see you guys in the next part. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.